Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the concept of diagonalization, guys. Okay, so basically, this is also one of the most important question, guys, in your examination that could ask because it's a clear LAQ, guys, because it cannot, it does not have any shortcuts or anything. So you need to solve it step by step. Hence, it is, it could be asked as an LAQ. Okay, yes. Okay, so basically here also the same method continues guys. So we are discussing about uh, the characteristic equation, right? Yes. So again here also you will be writing the characteristic equation. You will find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Okay. Okay. Yes. So based on that, you will be finding the modal matrix. So modal matrix is represented with the symbol P guys. Okay. So that P is nothing but X1, X2, X3 in terms of matrix. Okay. Yes. So these in terms of matrix, if it is a non-symmetric matrix, okay, if it is a symmetric matrix, you will be dividing it with the debt of debt is nothing but under root of its squares, guys. Okay. Yes. Right. Yes. Once you are going through the example, you'll be having it clear, guys. Don't worry. Okay. Once this P identification is done, then you will be diagonalizing the matrix, guys. So diagonalization is nothing but P is transpose into A into P you'll be getting the result. So that is nothing but the diagonalized matrix. Okay. Yes. Guys, for this also, I'll be just explaining the steps, guys, because problem solving might take some time and I don't want to waste your time. So you can just go through the steps because the solution is written clearly step by step. Okay. You can just pause the video. You can solve it as I explain you the steps. Okay. Yes. So initially you will be taking the matrix. You'll be writing the characteristic equation. So characteristic equation is nothing but you'll be writing in diagonal minus lambda minus lambda minus lambda. So three minus lambda, five minus lambda, three minus lambda, everything will be the same. Okay, so once you got that, you will be calculating the debt. So the same way how you did, you will be calculating the debt. At the end, you will be getting an equation. Okay, so based on that equation, you will be finding the values, eigenvalues. So here in the previous lecture also, when we are calculating eigenvalues, I gave you a trick to solve this, right? So initially the last value, 36, you take LCM. So in LCM, I commonly see 6 into 6, right? So I took 6 could be the chance, right? So it's just a guesswork, guys. So I took 6 and I got 0. So from here, you can take directly this and you can solve it. So x, sorry, x square minus 5x plus 6. So for this you solve, you will be getting 3 and 2. Okay. Yes. So now you got eigenvalues. Okay. So once you got eigenvalues, you try to get the eigenvectors guys. So eigenvectors are nothing but here you will be substituting the value of lambda. So previously in our equation, we gave lambda, right? So in that lambda place, you substitute the value. So initially I assumed the lambda is equal to 2 and I solved it. And at the end, I got the eigenvalues. So if you recall, I already discussed how to calculate the eigenvalues, guys. So that is the reason why I say everyone to follow step by step, video after video. Don't skip videos, guys. It's a please request from my side. In any subject, you can skip. But in mathematics, like one depends on the other. So that is the reason why please concentrate, okay? Yes. So you'll be calculating the eigenvector. So similarly, for 3 also, you'll be calculating the eigenvector, okay? So we got 1, 1, 1 here. Similarly, for lambda is equal to 6 also, you'll be calculating the eigenvector, okay? So we got three eigenvectors here. Okay. So now if you observe our given matrix, it is looking something similar, right? Yes. If you transpose this matrix, that is nothing but our original matrix. Just give me a second. Okay. Just give me a second. Okay. So if you transpose this matrix, it is looking 100% similar. So this side is a similar to this side. Hence, it is a symmetrical matrix, guys. So you need to use this formula. You need to divide X by the mod of x or debt of x so that debt is nothing but the squares of addition guys so minus one whole square plus zero whole square plus one whole square under root so one plus one is nothing but root two so in that way you will be calculating guys okay so once you calculate it you will be substituting in the given equation so it will be getting in this way the p value and p transpose is nothing but converting rows into columns you will be getting p transpose so now your goal is to just multiply these three things guys Okay, so whenever there is any matrix multiplication, P transpose into A into P, first to do this and with this result to do with this guys. That will be easy, right? Yes. So first I did with P transpose into P. Okay, so I got this as the result and finally I did for D, I did this with the original P matrix. Okay, yes. So you can just check the steps. I have written it step by step guys. Really step by step I have written the answers. Okay, yes. So once you do it, you will be getting this as the matrix. So this is your diagonalized matrix for our given question, guys. Okay. Yes. So I hope everyone got a clear idea. So basically this question could be asked for a LAQ, direct LAQ, guys. So please go through it at least once. And in our classwork notebook, this is the short notes, guys. And this is the classwork. So in the classwork PDF, there are almost three to four problems. Guys. I think there are four problems on diagonalization. 
okay even though they are lengthy but you could score right so that is the main thing right yes so please go through it and you need you can you should be perfect in solving it guys okay yes so in the next lecture we will be going through the canonical normal forms and quadratic forms guys okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching